Well, look, here we are. Here's another house for sale. It's on Netherland here in Loveland. This is pretty much an all brick ranch. It was custom built and it's um, in a backing up to the Loveland golf course. And I'm just going to go around. The sun's a little bit overcast today, so it actually gives us some good views. If you look out to the street over there, that street is Wilson. So you're not that far away from Wilson. And um, I want to go fairly fast here. You can always go back and watch the video. On the side over there, on the other side of the garage, that is an oversized garage. And that's got a sidewalk to go down to get into the lower level of the house. This is a walkout basement. And one of these days, I'm going to learn how to be able to walk, take a step, and not be too jiggly. But maybe not. So let's enter into this lovely home. This is the view that you get when you come in. There is a formal dining area here to your left. You have sconces on the wall. You have lights. Great place for a hutch. You have lights, chandelier nice curtains and you have a little bit of the oh chair railing you know i'm not very good with my terms but so you're going to have to help me with this this room over here is a study office it's got a closet so if you need have guests that need to have a um, main floor bedroom because a couple of these other bedrooms are in the basement and then it has a bench and those shelves actually pull up so you can have additional storage there light fixture. So what's nice about this particular plan is that you can walk straight forward and get into the bath. So you can close off the kitchen and not have to deal with it. You have a tub and then a window looking out to the golf course. And let me get sneak in my first view here of the golf course for you. Now we are looking through the screen so it's a little bit hard. But this is the Loveland Old Course. It's a great course. Hard to play sometimes. Especially when you have short little hits like what I have. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're ta you're talking about the house. So then you have your steps downstairs. And we're not going to go down yet. But see how wide those steps are? And then you have lights along the way too. The living room area here is vaulted. Has skylights. Has a ceiling fan. And then off to the right, we have a fireplace. Now that's an electric heater fireplace. It's actually been plumbed for gas, but with gas prices going up, the seller had decided to change it over to electric. And I'm standing here and I can feel the heat coming out of it. There's a TV stand and sometimes, you know, we're getting changing here. We're wanting those big, gigantic TVs. Well, you could put it above a fireplace if you want. But I understand that's not the right place to put it. Now we have the kitchen over here. We have a pass-through, the sink's behind there. So this is such a neat space. You have your um, place where you can put chairs. And this is truly where I would spend my time. Look at that ceiling. Isn't that awesome? And once again, we're going out to see the golf course. So you have a deck. And the deck actually goes all the way around. Because over here, that door is where the master bedroom entrance is. And if you have a dog or kids that you don't want to be going downstairs, in that cement walkway is part of this house, you have a way to keep them up on the deck. Now this golf course, and I'm going to also try to post a link to the um, golf course, the Love and Old Co Go Golf Course, is just great here. And you have more deck, more space out on this side. And then here, and this is cheating because I'm not going outside, it's a little chilly today, but you have a ceiling fan, you have lights, it has screens, so if you're worried about mosquitoes, you don't have to worry. And so let's go back into the kitchen. We have a desk. We have a place for a TV in here. We have the refrigerator has been left. It's a, um, oh, what, Janair. So your, your uh, venting is through here. And it is electric. And then look at all of this. The quality of this house when it was built is amazing. Because you have the wood front. So the dishwasher, the huge oven, microwave, and the refrigerator. You have the garage here, and then you also have, and I, it's always hard when you come in here, you have pull-outs. And as you look in houses, it's very important to open up those doors the whole way. And the other thing that's really nice 
is you have places to put your dishes or cooking wares upright or flat. So in the, even though this is a fairly tight kitchen, and you need probably some granite or something like that to update it, that, but it's just lovely. Now here we have access to the laundry room. We have pantry space here, places for the um, oh uh, vacuum, if you're so inclined to vacuum, which most people are. I prefer to have somebody help me. We have an ironing board built in here. We have the sink, we have cabinets, we have a rail to hang up your clothes as you take it out of the washer and dryer. And if you'd like gas instead of electric, you can have a gas dryer. Now it's always important to see a garage, and from the outside this one looks like it's just a simple two-car garage in your space. And I hope I didn't lock myself out. Oh, I didn't. Good. But you have this, oh, this extra space, and oh, listen to me and my bad comments about vacuuming. It has a whole house central back. It's so hard to remember what houses have and don't have. So you have your um, sprinkler system over there and a water faucet in the garage with a hose so that if you want to wash your cars here, you can do that. Now, I'm trying to keep this to under 10 minutes and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do that. And if you're still watching the video, then it's telling me something that you're maybe liking the house a bit. Yes, this is a closet and I think there's a light in there. So now let's head downstairs because we had a teaser about it first. And I want to make sure I don't fall as I come down. So here we have a landing as we get down. We have cedar lined closets. And the neat thing about this closet is, aha, what did I find? It's a hidden space. Well, it's no longer hidden because I told you about it. But closets are important and cedar lined closets are really nice in case you don't like mothballs. Now, I'm not quite sure where I want to start down here, so let's start down in this great room where it'd be perfect to have um, pool tables, other games, things like that. There's our entrance to the stairs. We have storage here. So many houses don't have storage. This one does. And look, the shelves are already built. You have a window, and look at this, more shelves. What great space for storage. And then there's a um, lots of extra space. It's amazing. So then we have one bedroom over here. It could be a sewing room. It could be a craft room. It could be where the kids stay when they come to visit. And some, you know, the biggest thing I think is I'm a southwestern type of a girl and not everybody likes that. But this can be changed. The wallpaper rolling can be changed. Yes, it's a little bit of work, but that's not bad. Here's the guest bathroom, and I'm trying to avoid being caught in the filming, if you can imagine that. And then we have a shower here. So we have a shower downstairs. Oops, I tried to go the wrong way. And it's actually tall enough. One of the things that you'll find so many times is that they're not tall enough for everybody. Now, I don't want to go in there just yet. We have another bedroom down here. And what I wanted to show you... Yeah, there's my picture again. What can I say? But that's about being a real estate agent and making sure you get things exposed. This would be a great spot for a hot tub where you can have some privacy, but yet some openness and enjoy the golf course. And you can see it's partially covered. Now, some of the deck is more covered because of the fact that it's enclosed, and some of it's not. Okay, I want to get back to being back here. Now, this is another feature that I really like, and the sellers actually talked to me about whether we needed to finish or not, and I told them no. I think with a space to have for a workshop, a hobby room, additional storage, you know, right now we already have a four-bedroom house, that it would be just fine not to have it. Anyway, then we have our furnace room, and there's a hot water heater in the furnace. And so, so much space, so much flexibility, little updating is being needed, but not that much. And one last view here of the golf course outside. This is the deck or patio outside here with a covered deck. Great views of the golf course. And nobody's out golfing today, but we do have, we'll end up the day with a picture of our local livestock which is the geese, and I think they're just out of focus. Call me if you have any interest, and we did this in less than 10 minutes. Bye. 
All right, now we're entering the master bedroom, and in case I forgot to do it, and I'm having a uh, feeling that I did. So I'm going to add this on to the end of the tour, so I apologize for the jumping in this, but that's just one of those things that happens. And um, it's easier for me to add it, I hope, than to try to redo it. We have a huge master closet, and look at the de attention to the detail with the shoe uh, rack down below, the built-in shelves, shelving, the cedar lined along the bottom. I think that's just a, a wonderful space. And then we have the master bath. So we have a nice jetted tub here in the middle with some nice light. Um, you know, as a photographer, it's really interesting to try and keep yourself out of the picture. So we have split sinks. And I don't know about you, but we had one of these when I was a kid. And I actually remember playing with it quite a bit. So we have an oversized toilet room. And that's nice because you can feel like you're just so crowded. So anyway, here's the shower. It's got a towel rack in it, which I think is pretty amazing. And the shower here and um, large space. So many bathrooms, I just feel crowded. Anyway, once again, taking a look when you're brushing your teeth, taking a look outside and enjoying this outdoors that is just so close and plenty of room for your plants on the shelf here or ledge around the tub. Come let me know if you have an interest in this house and we will talk more about it. Bye now.